somehow a little dog finds us a big old stick to be chewing on when we're trying to spend a nice morning over here on our porch. You get to see us in our in our pre thrown together faces today because <laughs> why are you gonna get ready when you're gonna go to Typhoon the Moon and jump in a wave pool? Right. And we both had blue on, we didn't plan this. Oh. My hair's still a little crazy from yesterday. Hey. But I gotta show you this super cool cup. Will you take the pooch? Mm -hmm. Thanks. This was like one of the most magical gifts we've ever received, ever. Now this is an old coffee mug, and they came from Disney World like, like 10 or 11 years ago. Even a little further back than that. But Sarah's aunt, who we go to like swimming at her house every Wednesday during the summer, always had these two, a blue one and a green one. I always, ever since my first day there, I was like, I'm gonna steal these one day. They are amazing. Like, always razzed her, like- Always gave like, her a hard time, poked fun at her. If these end up going missing, like- You know who to look for, because I'm gonna take them. And her son and daughter-in-law gave us as a gift before we left, found them on eBay. And so it was just amazing, because like, I honestly really love these mugs and over over, I've been, me and Sarah have been dating for, this will be nine, nine years this December. And every single time I go to this one aunt's house, I razz her aunt about these mugs. So look at this. It's like, here, I'll put it on the table. It's like a normal human sized mug. What are you looking at? It's got Mickey and a compass, and it says Animal, Disney's Animal Kingdom. It has old school MGM. What do you see? Epcot and Magic Kingdom. It says Walt Disney World Tour. So there's this one, then there's a green one that comes with it. And look how fresh it looks, because they're brand new, but her ants are all faded and old because they use them like all the time for the past 10 years. So needless to say, I'll be... Up. Ooh. It's hard to see, but it's a 28 in Maine glass. little glass. Like, like my hat. But needless to say, I'm going to be babying these mugs and cleaning them with a toothbrush. <laughs> They'll never go in the dishwasher, and I'll always be cleaning them by hand. Good job. You want a treat? Is that why you were doing that? You're out of breath. I think that might mean you're out of shape. A lot of relaxation at the same time. So get prepared for a great day. And we're also going to be bouncing back between the Canon G7X and our GoPro. Well, the water feels so good. It's not warm. It's not cold. Just right. I love the wave pool. I'm getting so nervous. Every 90 seconds. A big one on three horns. Here we go. So no. <laughs> Why did you get that far? I surfed it. Oh, you surfed it? Yeah, but I have a ton of water in my <laughs> This is, dare I say, this makes me feel almost as alive as Rock and Roller Coaster. I said it, okay? I'm sorry. I just have to be true to myself. I failed. I failed my school when I was little. <laughs> so this is secretly a struggle for her. <laughs> <laughs> <You> okay. <laughs> I just. I was, I was just on top of her. <laughs> Over here, we'll show you right now. 
line of adventure. That's where things get risky. We named it. It's not, it's not like a real thing. It's, called, it's a real thing. Ask a cast member. Line of adventure. That's where it starts getting real deep and where all the action is. Right. Now, it's time for me to face my battles. I tried riding up it. Me too. I tried swimming up it, but I couldn't get to the very top. So the top where all the where the brake water was and all the, the bubbles just right <laughs> in the face. Should I go back out there? Yeah. Apparently the wave pool is out of commission. That's why everybody's by the shallow ends. And it is, uh, why is this happening? Well, everybody knows that the bird is aware. No it is, really. it is, and it is not my fault. <laughs> Look at my crazy hair. So. I came up here to film Peter deep in the pool. I took a video on our Instagram story, and I was like, where'd Peter go? Like, I'm trying to, like, get him on this. Can put it in the video? Yeah, I can put it in. So we'll put it in now. Yeah. They blow the whistle, the guy comes out, covered in blood. I'm like, oh my god, how did that happen? He must have hit a rock. So I'm looking for Peter. They're not doing any more waves. And all of a sudden, Peter is, I'm looking for him in the wave pool. And I turn around, and Peter's talking to them. And I guess Peter and this person collided. Peter was going up the wave. The other guy was going this way on the wave. And they bumped heads. Apparently, Peter's head is stronger and split the other guy's head. So I have a, my head hurts a little bit, but I'm fine. So it's quite eventful. But he like literally split his head up. So I'm just gushing. like, what's going on? And then I come to find out it's Peter was involved, but they still haven't started the waves up. Well, because it's been like 15 minutes. Well, it's because you can see here they gotta clean up for safety reasons. They have to clean up all the blood because he was literally. He was literally gushing was, like, the whole time. Wait, look, look, go back it to where like the first. It was his nose. It was his forehead. I yeah. saw the cut. Um, our for, like, you can see in the, the clip that Sarah put in a couple seconds ago. If you look at it slowly, he's full force swimming towards the shell, and I'm swimming up the way. Yeah. So we're gonna go. And do it something was else. probably like a matter of minutes before there was like three managers who were walkie talking all over here. They had a wheelchair, and the guy just. Talk to Peter, he's like, it's okay, like, he just wanted to know the full story, the manager. Um, so because it's a big deal, he's got taken away in a wheelchair. He probably has to go to the hospital, so I feel terrible. I ruined that guy's vacation, and I ruined all these people's vacations. No, you did not. So I think it's we, just like whenever you're in a wave pool like this, there's that risk. Like, it's not like a calm thing to do. Like, you take that risk when you're swimming towards the 20 foot wave or however tall it is. So I think we're gonna go on some slides or something. Yeah. Classic lunch break, simple but satisfying. Got chips, or Cheez Its, sandwich, apples, water. Nice and get rejuvenated before we before we go back and hit out on those. Uh, what are we doing? Slush and gusher? Slush and gusher. Slush and gusher. And then back to the way. And then back to the way. We'll then probably head out after that.
we're back in the wave pool. But I'm starting to feel the effects. So, so there hasn't been a wave in a really long time for whatever reason. And there's like a bunch of people over there and over there getting ready to watch. And the pool has gotten pretty packed. And note the crazy looking clouds that are coming in. We're ready for this. Are you ready, Sarah? Thumbs up, she says. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yes. Give you a little update. We're home. We showered. We're fresh. My head hurts still from the collision at the pool, but I think I'm gonna be fine. But we'll just keep an eye on it. And here's this cutie. Look at that I shirt. Look. Yikes. You don't look like it. It's great. But we got some. We're having some chicken tacos tonight. So there, Sarah seasoned and, and opened everything, and I cooked them. And I just got a fresh pot of coffee going because I am like. A 65 year old Italian man in the inside, and like I just like the idea of always having a pot of coffee in the house just for you know, just a quick cup. But good to go. All right, so my hair's a little wonky because I'm not gonna do it because it's later, and I don't want to keep my head on because I have a melon on my head from bumping heads with that guy. But what I'm doing, Sarah's editing yesterday's vlog right now. The dog is actually being calm for the moment, and I have been given the task of hanging this up here with this arrangement and we are very tactical in this family so everything's got to be measured precise and great so let's see okay i don't think the time lapse worked but <laughs> sarah will find out tomorrow so i may be eating my eating my words right now if it was if you guys just saw it but it took a little time because of all the aligning and everything but i'm proud of it and it's all done Yay! So here's the final product. It is, if you couldn't tell, we love Route 66. So we've got all these, that's from California, that's from Disneyland, or um, California, Adventure. California Adventure. That's from Lauren, right? This is actually a... Uh, that's from Lauren too. <laughs> Lauren, but it's a kitchen towel that we had framed, so it's like you can't see because they steamed and ironed it and everything, but that's a framed cloth. Here's was a wedding gift that we put all these wedding these honeymoon photos in. Right there, that is the real car that inspired Tomator. This is another gift, a map of Route 66. This was a gift from Jenna, an old Hertz um, advertisement. It's ironic because we we rented our Hertz car to um, to go on Route 66, so it's it's a real ad from the 50s. And then there's a picture of us at the beginning of Route 66 in Chicago. And then the sign from Lauren too, right? Yep. So that sign right there from Lauren. So, well, we didn't hang up those tonight and I don't want to because it's later. And I don't want our neighbors to be mad that we're banging on the wall. But those are going to go up there. And then we're, we're, we're almost done hanging stuff. We've got to put the Constitution. We have a framed version of the Constitution and Declaration of Independence over there. And I think we might move the map over, but I already did, so we have to see how we like it with the framed stuff. But then that'll go there. That's all set. We gotta find something for right in between the sunflower and the, that last name thing. But it's coming together. Then we just need a couch and some more lamps and lights because they don't have much in this apartment. But our new home is coming together, isn't it, Sarah? Mm -hmm. I'm happy. But I think with this that, will be happy to have some freedom now. yes, because she's been very restricted, not allowed in this living area because of everything on the ground. But I think we got to get ready for bed or at least done vlogging for the day because tomorrow's the last day for a great movie ride and we're going to go to rope drop. Rope drop. It's going to be chaos. Yes, we're it is. And with that, with my awesome hair. And my awesome hair <laughs> too. <laughs> it is good to be home. It's good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>